This video is going to show you how to install the Beast Canadian Edition from scratch. Uh, I'm using a Mac, so if you're using a Windows, then uh, obviously you'll do some, some things a little bit different, but I'm going to show you uh, how to do it on a Mac. Um, first, I'm just going to go to the internet, uh, go to codytvdownload.com. download section. Uh, you're going to need Krypton. Uh, the, the Beast Canadian Edition is uh, on Krypton, not on Jarvis. Uh, right now it's Beta 6. Beta 6 is very stable. Um, you're going to go to Windows, uh, Beta Build, if you're using a Windows base, um, or Mac OS, if you're using a Mac. So I'm going to click on the Mac. So now it's downloading. It's going to take a couple minutes. <clears throat> um, I've already got beta 6 here, so I'm just going to use this one and cancel this just to make things go by quicker. So download it where you want it to go. So I'm just putting it on the desktop, I guess. Open it up. For a Mac, this is the installer. Let's put it into applications. Close that. So now we've got uh, Kodi installed. Applications and you'll see it in there. There's Kodi. Uh, with Kodi, you gotta when you first install it on a Mac, you gotta hold Control and then open. Okay, so here's uh, Krypton. Now, uh, from here, how you get uh, the uh, Canadian edition, uh, you gotta go to my repo, but there is a couple things that you wanna do first before you go into uh, adding a source. So go to settings, system settings, display, you wanna make sure, well, first off, go to standard, make this expert, Display, maybe it might not be synced to your display. Uh, so you do need to uh, go down and do a video calibration if you don't see, say, this time correctly up there. Maybe it's pushed into the corner or settings or something like that. So uh, you're just gonna go down to, oops. Uh, video calibration, and then you can uh, make it so that it fits your television. Okay, so audio. Uh, two channel, I'm running on a 5.1 system, so I'm going to make mine 5.1. Uh, output, fine. You don't, you don't want to do stereo mix, keep that off. Uh, play sounds, I hate that clicking sound. Allow pass through because I'm using a uh, 5.1 audio system and hooking up to a receiver. You want to do this uh, audio pass through so you get the 5.1 and DTS sound. Um, if you are going only through your television, do not click this audio pass through because some videos you won't have audio if it's dedicated only to 5.1 or Dolby Digital. Uh, so you want to keep it on two channel audio and then also keep this 5.1 up here, put that back to two channel if you're running on a television only, uh, the audio. So uh, this is going to go through uh, Apple remote, configuration for controllers, if you have all that stuff. Uh, use proxy server, you can keep that off. Uh, Add-ons, this is one thing you need to do. Click the unknown sources and then say yes. So this is going to allow you to add sources. Okay, uh, none of that stuff, back out of this page. 
go to skin settings, nothing in there we need to do, interface settings, region, uh, if you're in Canada, which you probably are if you're looking at this video, uh, this is a Canadian edition, so you want to set it to Canada, and uh, general, you can rename the device, uh, Allow remote control, I'd say yes, I just turn that on anyway, share my library because I like it over my uh, network, airplay support, I like to airplay things, uh, music and stuff like that for my phone. Um, that's about it for here. So now what you want to do is go back into settings, go to file manager, add source, and this is the source you're going to add, HTTP colon forward slash forward slash p dot bros git dot pro slash big per uh, sorry big per okay so that is the source that is where you get the beast Canadian edition and then hit okay back out back out now you want to go to add-ons, uh, so it, this is saying that something didn't uh, update, it's probably a scraper, yeah, so just click on that and then click update, okay, so there you go, sometimes the scraper doesn't install properly, uh, so you just want to make sure there's no uh, updates that are saying there. So I'm at zero, which means that uh, all the updates are done. So now we're going to go to install from zip file, big perm, this is the source we added, and then don't click on the build, you want to download this wizard. Okay, so now the wizard is enabled, go to my add-ons, program add-ons, big perm wizard, open. There it is. Now it's going to download. It's going to take uh, about a minute or two. Um, so uh, I'll just let this go and I'll see you in a couple minutes. I'm doing this in real time so you can see exactly how fast this takes. Um, so I'm not going to fast forward this or anything like that. I just want to let, show you exactly how long this takes. Uh, then again, uh, I'm not taking any credit for the base build for uh, the beast. Uh, all credit goes to the creator of the beast, uh, Chris B. Um, he has the best build out there in my opinion. And like I said in my previous video, I've just tweaked this for Canada. So if you are if you have an Amazon or an Android, then you're gonna pull up your, pull up the power cable from your device. I don't, this is a Mac. Force close, so there. So the beast Canadian edition is now in Cody. Uh, we're just going to open Cody back up and we got to there it is so you got your TV shows uh, USA Sport movies uh, now it's doing its update uh, so it's updating auto updating everything for you
me for some reason something happened to my computer. So I'm just going to close Cody for a second. Um, TV shows, UK sports, uh, men's area, women's area, everything's in here. Um, let's just do an update add-on, see if there's any more updates to do. Nothing at the moment. Uh, speed test. Uh, let's speed test to see how my connection is right now. So there's some uh, more updates coming through after I clicked update. There we go, 10 out of 10, so I have no problem streaming up to 4K. All right, uh, now what I'm going to do is uh, show you how to install Tracked.tv. So what you want to do is I have the Tracked.tv manager built into the, into the system. So let's go to add-ons. Oops, that's right, add-ons, my add-ons, we're going to go to program, track.tv, configure, and we're not going to click on this yet. So what you want to do is you want to open up your browser, and you want to go to track.tv, I just have it in my favorites here. So track.tv, and you want to sign in or join Tracked. Uh, username, password, email address, that's it. Uh, I'm going to sign in with mine. Uh, there you go. So in here, you're going to go to list. You're going to add a list. I added movies and I added Jeff. So these are all my favorite TV shows. So how you do that is you just go up to here and you add in Game of Thrones. Click on this and then you add to your name or Cody or whatever you renamed it to. And then it will show up in Cody. So. From here, you're going to go to track.tv slash activate, and then you're going to put in a code. So once I click on this, it's going to give me a code, 8FAF. So now I want my track.tv to link to Cody. Okay, so there, the authorization is complete. So now track.tv, all my favorite TV shows are in Cody. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to link those directly to specific add-ons. So I'm just going to do Exodus for the time being. So go to Exodus add-on. Going to go to tools, accounts, and go to tracked. It's going to give you the same type of code, 081AE. You want to go back to activate track.tv/slash activate, and you want to type in that code again, 081AE. Okay, so now Exodus is linked to Tracked specifically. There you go. So there's my thing. 
back out. Now, what we want to do is we want to make, make it easy to get to, so you're not searching for your TV shows or anything like that. So when you click on TV shows right now, it just goes to uh, TV shows that aired today, okay? But what we want to do is we want to make that easy and we want it to go to my specific TV shows. And how we do that is you go to system, skin settings, setup, go down to TV shows. And this default section right here is defaulted uh, for what's airing today. But we want to change this and we want to make it so that it goes to track. So click on that, click on add-on, video add-on, and we want it to go to Exodus because it's the most stable, and then my TV shows, and go all the way down to TV show lists. So now you're going to see Jeff. Okay, this is where all my TV shows are in Track.TV. Click on that. There's all my TV shows. I want to create the item here. Okay, now what that did is that changed this heading from TV shows to Jeff. But we want to switch this back to TV shows so it looks right. TV shows. Okay, there we go. So let's uh, back out of here and we can show you how that worked. Go over to TV shows. Okay. Click on it. There's all my TV shows that I added to Track.TV. Okay, so if we look at, say, Designated Survivor, I've been watching this, so uh, it check marks all the TV shows that you've watched um, to make sure that you're not, you know, if you forget which episode you watched, at least it lets you know that that was the last episode. All right, back out, and. Uh, that's uh, how you install Tract and kind of customize it to your TV shows. If you have uh, any questions, please comment below. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and I can bring you some more updates. Enjoy.